bitch. <laughs> the way that I just went through a fucking spiritual awakening in between this recording. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, gee. Okay. This cancer reading is is on some other shit, okay? Let me turn that shit down. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so two things. Number one, um, I, so I have been doing videos for the past few days. And like I said, in those videos, there is 24 hours in a day. And I, I don't record for those 24 hours, right? But every single time I fucking turn on this camera, this is now the fourth time this has happened. Someone either walks through that fucking door, someone calls my phone, or someone texts me, texting me something that makes me have to stop the reading. So I was in cancer energy and I did this. So cancer, you could be having someone distracting you at the moment. Um, these readings are very fucking important. And the shit that I got distracted by was not important. It was a distraction that was alerting me of someone else's feelings towards me. So uh, people could be very jealous of you at this very moment, Cancer, very envious of you, or just having really strong emotions towards you. Whether this be like them having a crush on you or them like strongly admiring you or the exact opposite of that where they hate your fucking guts and they want you to stop doing whatever you're doing um, because it's messing up their flow. When in reality it's not, it's just their focus on you so their flow is getting messed up. Two, two, two could be significant. Um, or it could be both of those things combined. It could be uh, they love you and admire you but they're also jealous of you and want to tear you down because your light is hurting their demons. Point blank period. Um, I'm getting a lot of downloads and messages just not even touching the cards. I, I went through one fucking card, I think. <laughs> I didn't. I was going over something that wasn't even a part of the shit, which is crazy. And then throughout me like expecting for someone to walk through the door or like disrupt my reading um aka my flow of what i was doing i decided to finish out the reading practically and draw the cards while i still had the energy inside me but it was possible that the energy could have been in genuine because i was in a rush state someone is trying to get me to not do it on like the the timing and the modality that it's supposed to go in um so you're a naturally cardinal sign and someone is trying to get you to stop moving stop forward moving they're trying to get you to be fixed instead of your forward movement um so i feel like if i would have stopped completely and then just like had done whatever i was doing um that would be the wrong thing to do um and so i feel like while these people are testing you seven seven could be significant talks about luck and seeking the truth um prosperity and abundance as well but through you going through your forward movements like how i was saying in the beginning of this like definitely keep going definitely like stand firm on what you planted for yourself so far um but keep going but make sure you're taking care of yourself someone is wanting to stop all forward movement um so um, don't stop. Don't allow people to stop you completely because that's not what you're being called to do at this point. You're, you're, you're being called to get to the finish line of whatever you set out to do or whatever you plan to do. So just make sure at this time that you have, that's, I feel like that's why, especially why it was so important to have the 444, what the fuck? Uh, it was so important to like build your structure and have like a firm foundation of what you're doing, where you're going, how you're gonna do it, like a plan, a, sol a solidified plan. Know what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it so that when people are coming in at random, trying to distract you or take you off this path, you can recover quickly by taking care of yourself, but keep moving. 
and that is what led me to doing the rest of these cards like this so let me just go ahead and do the oracles we talked about number nine energy the protectress protect your energy at this time because there's a lot of people you are in an empress like energy cancer you're already naturally in your feminine energy but um with the current trials and tribulations that you went through you have now upgraded to empress energy and you're able to stay there despite your forward moving energy now what i know about the empress card is that it's a very abundant and high frequency high resourceful energy and it is meant to be shared with everyone else but it cannot be shared with everyone else if you are not at your 100 percent so if you've been forward moving and if you've been continuing doing what you're doing but something is off kilter in your routine that is making it to where you are still tired every day to where you're still drained and unable to perform to the best of your ability go ahead and switch up your routine 555 could be significant switch up your routine a bit change it up and see like how um where things need to be changed for you to like feel mentally and emotionally stable enough and spiritually and physically uh what okay okay i just got two nines and then i just got this planet i believe it's saturn my saturn is in cancer and it is stuck it's not moving anymore in comparison to this dangly this just got like that and i'm unable to fix it so like the more that you try to manhandle things that need proper care and proper time um proper mother nurturing um this could be even your self-care routine you may be even trying to like just skip over the process of taking care of yourself and like say you're doing it but you're not this is pissing me off <laughs> um and in result you're getting like extra irritated you're getting extra distracted like your your brain is getting more foggy um and it's like you're confused because you know what you set out to do and you know that 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 mission that goal to take care of you and the people around you whatever it is um that is what kept you happy and, and that mentality kept you very stable but without the proper self-care to balance that uh, oh okay thank you home home uh mm -mm. work life balance yes you're being called to wrangle in on your work life balance at this time um and you can do that by protecting your energy yeah card number 14 goes to number five um if you want more creativity and like more of an expansion with uh the projects and creative endeavors that you've been doing going forward um you're being asked to uh kind of like focus on yourself at this time like everyone around you is very important and they're very important to the cause but like you like i said before with that empress energy you can't give to other people you can't even expect to receive from other people if you do not have the proper mental space to like do that because our words and our thoughts are very important and so if you're thinking in a negative light like that can easily be what stops all forward movement so in order to stay in that positivity continue to self-love self-care continue to reassess yourself and like write down things that are needed as you can see number 14 the flower child she's very grounded in what she knows as her truth 909 could be significant and she is writing it down but she's not writing this down to share it she's writing it down for herself so that she can remember in the future when she's like in west bubble fuck doing whatever that oh okay this is my roots this is my this is where i was grounded at and let's continue with that on top of everything else i just learned let's put it together um flower child um talks about earth and it talks about like i also think of like memento mori like meeting in the middle sort of so find the middle ground of your work life and your regular life before you even think about whatever else is going on right now you need to be 100 percent making sure that you're able to maintain this empress energy because it's very important going forward you're going to need that energy for completing your creative endeavors or for 
that as well as surviving all of the hardships that are about to come your way. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Like there, it's not, it, everyone, all the Zodiacs, you know, they're gonna be going through hardship. They're gonna be going through difficult times. Um, but I'm getting with you, Cancer, it's gonna be like, it's not gonna be weathered. Like it's not gonna be moving with the times. Your conflict is not gonna be moving with the times like how everyone else's conflicts are. They're going to be, I want to say, fine tailored to you. Um, so I was having a conversation with my aunt the other day. She's a cancer. And she was having a conversation with me about how she had to, had to come home to herself. She felt very lost, just as I did. She felt very lost in like what she was doing. She was doing things and she was grounded in like a career. She was grounded, um, surrounded by her family, um, in which she knows is like a very big piece of her heart and her passion and her love for life. Um, but there was something that was missing. And no matter how far she continued, no matter how much she tried to think like, you know, family love, you know, it didn't, it, something wasn't aligning, something wasn't clicking. Um, and it was because she had lost herself in that process. And that's okay. You need to lose yourself to find yourself again. And that's what we go through. That, that's what we call a spiritual journey on this earth. And that's what the cancer embodies as well. They, they're they forward moving and they just like take in all of this knowledge and emotion and information um, that was granted by spirit itself. And they're able to like keep doing what they're doing while at the same time like coming home to themselves again to grow out of that mold that that shell the crab shell they're able to grow out of that and transform into something new all while still moving at the same time like there there's no stagnancy or fixedness in a cancer whatsoever and so like just with that natural cardinal like energy that is within you guys it's very hard to slow down it's very hard to assess a situation like how i've been saying and it's very it's very difficult to kind of like have a wrangle on how you feel in a given moment because you're always evolving to that next stage of yourself so when people are like you know who are you you're like i don't fucking know because i don't know myself like or when people are trying to tell you who you think who they think you are you're like yeah that's funny lol because i don't know myself type b but a good way to know is to begin looking in the mirror cancer um you, compared to all of the signs, have the biggest transformations and the biggest stages of growth in life. You're very spiritual and you're very attuned to what's going on around you. And you take all that, you absorb it all in to grow and become a new person. Um, but you cannot be aware of what's going on with you if you are stuck in a mentality that is forcing you to look at only one page of life. We have an entire book of our own individual lives that occur. And if you're looking at one page, then all that forward movement, all that natural growth and evolution, you're unable to see it. And you're unable to be appreciative of it. You're unable to use it to your advantage to grow and stay stable in that, in that evolution. As cancers evolve, their frequency per se goes up and up and up. But if you're mental, if you're subconscious, is stuck down here from like 20 years ago and you have not even realized how far you've come um this will keep rising and your physical body won't be able to handle it anymore and you will pop because your reality is not aligning with your frequency that makes zombies that makes mindless creatures that makes people who are not in control that makes codependent beings it's a whole cycle it really is so self-reflection, this was the last card, card number 26, that goes to eight, master manifestor number. Um, if you want to continue doing well with your creative endeavors, and if you want to continue doing well with the overall knowledge that you've gained, and like the relationships that you wanna patch up and create for yourself going forward, definitely take a moment to stop. And take a moment and realize just how far you've come through meditation, through journaling, or just simply reflecting, talking it out with someone. Like, you know, I was here a few years ago, but now I'm here and I'm really proud of myself. 
and this alone can be enough. The words alone can be enough to now manifest your forward moving future that is aligned to what you want, okay? So those are those cards. Now, I asked, oh, excuse me. I asked for a, um, a clarifying card. And I asked, I asked for three, three clarifying cards. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is, this is definitely the energy of cancer. Cause it's like, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm fucking trying to like, um, say what I need to say, but my brain is back here. Wow. Wow. Ciao. So I got three clar clarifying cards um, here for you. And I believe that, uh oh, this clarifying card was for my love card. And these two clarifying cards was for the tarot that didn't even come out yet. 1616 could be significant. So we're just gonna see. I'm gonna do the regular tarot right quick. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Uh, mm. Oh, Major Arcana's coming out the wazoo. But we're not going to do those. I'm, I'm trying to shuffle it low-key before we actually get started with that. And I just messed up my order. You could be very hyper-analytical at this time or very hyper-critical hyper of your, like, what you're wanting to do. Like, you may have self-doubt in regards to, like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I putting my energy and attention into the right places at this time to have the mm, mm, have the best result at what I'm trying to accomplish? Am I doing that? Okay. So, we got the moon at the bottom of the deck. Cancer energy. Crazy. Uh, and I feel like this is asking you, yeah, it's like there's a lot of deep hidden emotion, a lot of um, a lot of energy that's within you that you're using and transmuting to like accomplish your goals and like just keep going, but it's draining you because you're not knowing where certain energies are coming from and how you're actually using it or utilizing it to go forward. It's just energy and you're just absorbing it whole, not knowing necessarily what it is. So in order to do that, journal, cancer, journal, <laughs> write, get a fucking pencil and a piece of paper and start writing. Like you're being called to write at this time. Spirit is asking you to write. And I know y'all are stubborn, don't like listening, which is like all the fucking Zodiac at this point from what I've recollected, but it, write, okay? Um. So the first card that came out was the star, um, Aquarius energy. This is also someone who is very individualistic, very, uh, you're in, you're in the light right now, Cancer. You are taking what, wow. You're taking what you've learned and you are spreading it, you are sharing it, um, and you are completely naked, meaning you are shamelessly doing this you have confidence in yourself you know who you are at this point um and you are spreading your wisdom and your gifts with the rest of the world now what also comes with the star card though is loneliness what comes with the star card is individualism so it's kind of like you're not you could not necessarily be lonely you may have lots of people surrounding you but this energy is forcing you into a space that is like i my frequency is here my body is here, and so is everyone else's frequencies that's around me. So you're kind of in like a higher level of being and knowing right now. So with this, it is causing you an ego death. What you've known before is now being completely destroyed, being broken down to be built back up. The example that I was talking about with coming home to yourself, um, you're going through a transformation. You just recently, or you are right now, going through a dark night of the soul. And this is an energy of witnessing all of the energies around you not align with you anymore. You're realizing that you're meant for something higher and you're now becoming uh, third eye awakened. You're now distinguishing what's right for you and what's not based on said transformation. 
and now you have you got 17 the star that's 10 completion um accomplishment fulfillment joy lovingness fulfillment high energy this is a major arcana um so you could have just like really com really completed something whether that had been a spiritual journey um that you came to a close on or like a really dark period you could have just recently ended that um and you could have reaped the rewards for that or you're about to reap rewards for it like you're about to get lots of money and abundance for the things that you have cultivated and created for yourself and in order to not get overwhelmed by that uh, oh my gosh number 13 one plus three is four you're number four again you're being asked to build a structure so that the things that are about to come in for you the ships that are about to sail for you that they stay there and that you're not overwhelmed by everything that's about to come in for you cancer because you did do a lot of work you did fight for what you needed to fight for and you're about to reap the benefits but don't don't fall off because of the overwhelm of the finances and because of who is about to be coming in trying to tear you down for it or for that energy right so you have the three of wands here i'm gonna go ahead and see what this means because i was just studying the ace of wands and the two of wands yesterday but the three is what came out today so three of wands he has his back turned uh looking from a cliff's edge at ships passing over the sea three staves are planted in the ground and he leans slightly on one of them he symbolizes established strength enterprise effort trade discovery commerce those are his ships bearing his merchandise which are sailing over the sea okay so uh when i think of wands i think of um action and so you've already been through the one you've been through the two now you're at the three where you're kind of just like at an overhead viewing everything that has happened so far and this is an energy it's not like stagnancy but it's kind of like just like overall observance like you are you're paying attention to what you have done so far so you've leveled up You've gotten in this new energy by uh, going through the past and facing it and allowing it to become something new. And now it's it's sort of like a seven of pentacles energy where you're looking out at the things that you have created, the things you have taken action towards, and you are just admiring it. This doesn't talk about further action. It doesn't talk about backstepping. It doesn't talk about confusion. You're just admiring what you've done. And so I feel like that's what being called to do at this time. Admire everything that you've accomplished. Like, I'm I'm liking this reading, Cancer. Like, clap your fucking shit up. Pat yourself on the back. Do your favorite stuff. Do some self-care. Watch a movie. And for my Cancer, drink your wine. You deserved it. You deserve it. And you know now what holds you back and what keeps you going forward. And so if it's an enjoyment that is allowing you to celebrate your wins, even if it holds you back, go ahead and indulge. Like I said, you deserve it. And things that have allowed you to keep pushing and go forward, write all those things down on a piece of paper and manifest doing those things every day. Make it your mantra, make it your mentality, make it something that is very firm within yourself so that no matter how far you're going, elevating, going forward, you have this sturdy foundation, number four of what you've been through period okay um so where is it here these are my clarifying cards for tarot and we got the wow we got the king of hearts here very strong card um I, it's similar to the emperor it's like a king of cups actually uh-huh and then you got the nine of clubs so nine in in, in my deck nine of clubs is like um you are steadfastly you're very abundant at this time even if you don't have a lot of money right now your energy is now at a spot where you are highly highly abundant and you are that energy 
that magnetism, um, this king of hearts and that empress energy combined, you're able to do what you need to do in the workplace. You're able to communicate how you need to communicate and, and not let your emotions get the best of you, not let them overwhelm you in a given situation. You're now becoming a master of your emotions and you are using that to maintain a very solid and stable like place of abundance for yourself um this energy is now being felt by the people around you to the point where if even if you have one cent to your name you can walk in a room and people think that you're rich because this is how you act this is how you obtain things um you're taking action towards change and people aren't used to that they're used to staying stuck and stagnant and complacent so when you come up in the room um with your head high your heart big and your intentions clear that is the recipe for being the star for manifesting your dreams for getting all the attention for creating the reality that you really really want for yourself instead of being lost in your constant cycles that are cultivating for yourself okay so next is the two of pentacles and this was for love for cancer um so two of pentacles in my sexual magic tarot deck um this is a beautiful card okay because it highlights uh divine feminine energy and it highlights uh someone being stable and firm in their power so as you can see here um there's a lot of these hearts that occur in the deck in general sometimes you'll see the females clutching those hearts sometimes you'll see it near them um but here it is surrounded by it's there's it's, it's surrounded by nature it's right next to nature and it is giving off the aroma of like pentacle energy which is money finances stability groundedness um, and like all things that are three-dimensional so it's like this lady here she is not paid attention to like the other energies around her more specifically divine masculine energy so you could be in separation from someone who is heavily thinking about you at this very moment it doesn't need to be a counterpart it could be a family member it could be someone who is just really really thinking about you right now you're in this bad bitch empress energy right now with all this groundedness and stability and you're looking out at what's next for you and this aroma this scent is drawing in people who are trying to get a beef they they're very curious as to where this energy came from how you are keeping it and they want it not really in a general sense they want it from you they want to take it from you okay um and so um the advice what the fuck Whoa! I just 28, 28 can be significant. Two tens. Two tens. Two tens. What does that mean, Spur? What does that mean? What does it mean? <laughs> Tell me, bitch. Like, sorry. Ah! This is so crazy. The two of motherfucking pentacles got clarified by the two of clubs. The two of clubs is money. Stability. Oh, wow. So, like, when it's a two of cups that talks about uh, transferring energies, sharing something with somebody, being bonded, bonding, all that jazz. But the two of pentacles, um, it talks about kind of, it's kind of like taking your finances, taking your advancements, and um, doing away with them. No, 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 no. Why did I say that? Someone wants you to fuck up, y'all. I, Because I keep getting that. Like, every time I fuck up something, it's in the realms of you being in the opposite of your forward-moving path. So this person, whoever is deeply thinking about you, they're deeply obsessed with you at this time. And they may not be of benefit to you. This could be someone who has a lot of love for you and a lot of, like, like I said before, like a, a lot of admiration and passion for you. But just like this, two of pentacles. There's one facing up. There's one facing down. They have love for you and they want to maybe start a business with you. If, if this is talking about work, um, maybe someone wants to start a business with you or like, you know, get you kind of tied up in a contract. If this is love, someone is wanting to love you, but all for the wrong reasons. 
if this is like friendship and family someone is wanting to come in and like see they're they're wanting to see what this three of wands is all about all the ships that you created for yourself where they're sailing what they're doing where they're going um and that's okay you can let them do that but don't backtrack to like focus too much on it because there may be some people with negative intentions just wanting to be nosy and just wanting to see what you're doing what you got going on instead of actually like helping you proceed forward which is the only thing you want at this point cancer okay um that was nice that was nice and now we're just gonna end this off with a little affirmation card because i'm not gonna lie i'm tired <laughs> this energy is uh, a fucking killer and i'm so glad i'm not a cancer cool spirit is there any affirmational messages for my cancers at this time anything that my cancers needs to know at this time spirit through the affirmational messages anything else spirit finish the deck oh shit whoa y'all y'all's energy is not usually this like poppy but i feel like it's because y'all are in y'all are in alignment it is everything is happening in the way that you want it instead of going absolutely fucking chaotic which y'all are used to okay so the first card that we got today was today i am in charge today i am in control of how i feel nobody nobody can make me feel any other way than happy so keep doing what you're doing cancer keep uh taking charge of your own life taking life by the reins if you will um and all the things that are like setting you back or that you know can set you back put it to the side kisses some love but keep doing what you're doing okay these two cards came out together so we got today i am energetic and today i am respectful so today I'm energetic. Today I'm, I'm filled with an incredible energy and enthusiasm to face this beautiful day. So it's like, yes, you are in charge. You are in control. You know what you want. You know what to do to get there. Um, with all of this bad bitch, raw ass energy, you need to make sure that you are doing the self-care and the like self-acknowledgement that is needed to maintain this energy, to maintain this energy here that is giving you all of this, that is allowing you to do this while other people, like you're, you're in superhero mode right now, Cancer. And some people are like, how the fuck are you doing this? And even you right now may be like, I don't fucking know. Um, but you can know, and you can know by journaling, self-reflecting, per, that'll allow you to know what stuff is good for you to continue doing and what stuff is bad for you that you can begin limiting um, to maintain this energy that allows you to manifest anything that you want right now and then today i am respectful today i will acknowledge other people's thoughts and feelings as well as my own so i just did recently it was like two days ago it was a daily affirmational message and it was today i am uh, compassionate and it was practically i was telling the collective like you cannot grow um with just yourself yes that is a very big part of it but everyone else around us is indeed a reflection of, of ourselves as well. Everyone that exists is ourselves. So if we neglect the things around us, then there is a strong possibility that you'll be backtracking instead of going forward, okay? So be reaching out to people who are very important to you. Make sure that they are filled because their, their souls are attached to you. So if you're just going ahead and being this superhero bad bitch, but you're not sharing it with your tribe, with your family, with your loved ones, um, those energies will keep pulling and tugging on you until you croak. So the people who you know are of high importance in your life or that are family, generally, people who have soul ties to you, even if they're negative and you have not attached, detached your energy from them yet, pray for these people. Please communicate with them. Give them the love and light that you are now experiencing for yourself. And then in the workplace, I'm getting this specifically for the workplace, there are people who are just straight up fucking jealous of you, Cancer. They see your bad bitch energy and they wanna break your back. They wanna use this energy for good, like for their um, motives, for their intentions. Or they see this energy and they're down here real jealous of you and they wanna tear you down with them. Talking shit, gossip, doing stuff behind their back. Don't entertain this shit, okay? Um, be in consideration of people. Stop yourself before you do something that you'll regret and like understand that these people are in a low vibration of energy and that they are unable to do what you're doing right now and misery loves company 
hurt people hurt people. So don't engage, keep moving forward. And then people who wanna give suggestions in the workplace, take it with a grain of salt, keep it pushing. Offer love to these people because at the end of the day, people you work around are in your surrounding frequency and energy as well. So if you are in that bad bitch superhero energy, but everyone in your workplace is like, oh, boo, fucking who? I hate it here. I want to quit. Girl, how are you still here? I hate it here so bad. Go ahead and show them why you come to work every day. Show them that passion that you put into your job and share that love that you have for that and give it to them. Or show them through your work just how passionate and loving you are and create some healthy competition. The crab in the motherfucking barrel, okay? So like, there's people that are wanting to tear you down, like cut off your fucking claws so that you can't escape the barrel, so that you can't elevate yourself and heal and grow. There's people trying to tear that shit down right now um, because they're like, how the fuck are they even moving their claws to get on the side of the barrel? I can't do that shit. So instead of attacking them as well, instead of attacking someone for pulling you down, continue to go forward. Continue to uh, be that example. Continue to be the star, Cancer. Continue to be that love and light in your arena, in your area. And this will allow people to do the same um, because they can't hate on you for long. You're gonna leave their asses in the dust if they're hating on you for too long, Cancer. I. Right? So yeah, just be respectful, be considerate, um, but keep doing what you're doing, Cancer. I, I fucking love, I love this reading. Um, Y'all are really on your bad bitch shit. You're on your empress and emperor energy combined. Said feminine and masculine. I don't need no man. Who? Who? I'm the bad bitch up in here. I wear the pants. I wear the push-up bra. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to end it here because that was like my first full through reading. I really enjoyed that. Um, I hope you guys come back for further videos. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notif bell bell because I will be back with more messages for you guys going forward and they're gonna be very lovely and they're gonna be filled with my beautiful Pisces juices, okay? Um, so yeah, just keep pushing forward. Much love to you guys. 37, 37 can be significant. 10, 10 again! 10, 10 again! Y'all are bad bitches. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, okay? Bye y'all, have a good night. Make good choices, bye. <laughs>